What's going on guys? How's everyone doing? Um, weather's pretty bad here in Cardiff today. Just finished work. I uh, just want to come on briefly and just say how everyone's doing. Um, yesterday, Tanya Pratt episode come out and um, although, you know, not many people know who she is, she don't have much of a following. She had a great response and everyone who's watched it have said how powerful it was really. And I just want to say thank you. To, oh, look at that there. See that church there? That's where I'm based. That's St. John's Church here. Um, yeah, I just want to say thank you to everyone who showed the support for Tanya's episode. She, I haven't managed to speak to her yet. She has messaged, but I've been signed out on my Facebook for some reason. So I'll have a look at that later. But just want to say a massive thank you to everyone. And, you know, I know she'll be proud of herself. And so she should be. Um, got another powerful episode coming off this weekend. You know, we just keep it consistent every week. If one week isn't for you, I'm sure the next one will be. And this is uh, no different to that. Um, I'm filming Mark Drakeford this Friday. I'm interviewing Mark Drakeford, uh, the First Minister of Wales. So if any of you got any interesting questions that you think I could put across to him, leave it in the comment box or get hold of me. And uh, I'll see what we can do. Obviously, uh, we're living in some paranoid times at the moment uh, across the world, across Europe. And... Uh, I just want to say this, if there's one thing I can say, don't believe everything the news tell you, yeah? Don't believe everything the media says. Sky News, you know, BBC, all these, uh, all these channels that are basically being sat in. Yeah, you all right? Um, all these channels that are, you know, perpetrating that this is going on, this is going on, Russia this, Russia that. Do you know one channel that I used to watch all the time and I used to really listen to it like and um, <laughs> um, I used to watch it all the time. RT. I used to watch RT every day. Yeah. Because they said it how it was. And now all of a sudden people are like, don't watch RT, don't watch RT. Why? You know, but you know, although what's going on over there is terrible and people are dying and you know, mainly innocent lives are the ones that are gonna be taken. Don't listen to everything you hear. And if I can give you one word of advice, is, is don't even watch it. All right? Don't even watch it. Because it's all one-sided. And again, it's all fear-mongering. Follow the money trail. That's all I'll say there. Because there's a lot going on behind the scenes that we don't know about. Do you know what I mean? But what I'm going to do tonight is, I'm actually going to go live tonight. Um, obviously, we do the catch-up episode. We do that every Monday. We didn't do it last week, but we're going to go go live tonight. And we can talk about what's going on, you know. Let's try and put a positive spin on everything, you know. Uh, we're going to go and talk about Tanya's episode, if there's any questions out there. be nice to get Tanya on. I don't know if she'll be able to, but we'll do it live tonight and we'll see how everyone's doing. But, yeah, thank you, everyone, for your support. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Let me just say this quickly as well, yeah. So there was two goals that I put in uh, to myself when I got clean, yeah? And one of them was, you know, changing people's lives, you know, perceptions, people in recovery. But I also wanted to get, uh, get involved with kids, like get involved with the youth and do public speaks and stuff like that. Well, I done my first youth group last Friday and it went really, really well. So I want to thank Cardiff Youth Services for giving me that opportunity. And the other thing I wanted to do was work in prisons. So obviously I've been in prison over 10 times, you know. I've spent about five years in total behind the door. And um, I wanted to help in prisons, especially with people with drug problems, you know. Uh, the amount of people I know who caught drug habits whilst being in prison. Um, so I wanted to help there. And I had a phone call, uh, I think Thursday, uh, to be offered to help uh, peer mentors in prison. So, you know, you get St. Giles, you get the listeners, but you get peer mentors as well. And the peer mentors help the people on the prison, on the wings with like forms and, uh, you know, application forms and visit uh, VO forms, that type of stuff. Um, and I've been offered to go in there and, and train a, a peer mentor. So again, great news, you know? So if I can leave you with one thing, it's anything is possible. Anything is possible, you know? I. Um, after I did the youth service group on Friday, 
I went to the Central Club because I had to have an important meeting with a potential guest. And he was an ex-police officer with the South Wales Police. And I had two ex-South Wales Police officers sat across the table from me, trying to throw all this evidence at me to argue their case of doing a podcast about corruption in the South Wales Police. And I'm just like, is this fucking happening? You know, all the all the interviews I've done in the police stations cluck in. You know, did you do this? Did you do that? And the roles have been reversed where I am now basically interviewing them. It's mad. It's fucking mad. So anything is possible. It's never too late. Again, I'll fucking say that to the fucking high heavens. Just stay positive, guys. All right? I'll see you all soon. Stay safe, stay positive. Stay central.